going to go see Laverne Cox speak at the University of North Yay! Texas. With Tisha. We don't know what she's speaking about, but we're excited. Yeah. Excited. Orange is the new black. That's my show. That is my show. Yes. So, yep. we got to find out where we go into. I hope they have I'm sure we go right here because there's a line. I hope they have some snacks with me because they're hungry. Nachos and popcorn. They're probably not. I'm not, but I'm so far. My fingers. Super excited. <laughs> yep. <laughs>
that flashed out of me in a tremendous amount of pain. And so, wonderful expression I heard several years ago. The expression goes, hurt people, hurt people. Love that. Hurt people, hurt people. So often when uh, marginalized folks experience discrimination and oppression, it is deeply, deeply painful. We, we, we've experienced so much injustice that in so much pain and so much loss, and we sometimes don't know what to do with that pain. So we sometimes take it out of each other. Um, and, and when I think about that, I think then how do we begin to create spaces of healing so that we can we can heal and love each other better so that we can do the work of liberating all of us. Um, when I when I think about um, this, I can't help but think about I don't know, about a decade ago. I was on the subway. To address your leadership. Uh, you're a very charismatic and courageous woman. And um, one question that I would just like to ask you is, what really drew you to be the forefront or be at the forefront for a lot of the communities that are marginalized, underrepresented, and be the leader to speak on behalf and advocate and to be just so involved and active? So, I don't feel like I chose that. I feel mean, like this sort of a moment has sort of chosen me in a way. And at the end of the day, I, I consider myself an actress and an artist first. And I think, um, even before I was on Orange is the New Black, we were fans of Orange is the New Black. Right? Woo! I thought that was a good idea. Years before I was on Orange is the New Black, I was having these same conversations. I was, I was writing for the Post. I was still, I was making speeches to just, you know, more thousands of people coming <laughs> to hear me speak. And so, following my dream of being an actress um, and landing a role on a show that became wildly popular just gave me a platform to um, speak about the things that I care about more. So it, it's just, I've been sort of leading with passion and things with love and the things that I care about. And, and there's so many people out there who have a voice and their voices just aren't being really heard. And so I feel like my job is a storyteller, as an actress, as, as an advocate, and to try to not only tell my story, but to tell the stories of the or other folks who are, who are struggling and um, need to uh, find spaces of equity and justice. So it's, I'm just trying to be passionate and, and, do, and I do believe that that's a very good pro way, hopefully, I think I'll use that way, sort of, we can coin that. And it's a very Oprah way that we all sort of um, have a purpose. And, and, and I think this world and our job is to quiet our minds and, and listen to our internal compass so that we can um, discover what that purpose is. So I'm just trying to follow my journey. The next question will be from Hannah McGarry. Uh, do you ever feel any pressure to succeed for all other trans women in the industry? For example, modeling, acting, so. Yeah. <laughs> I, um, there's, a, there's been a lot of pressure. Um, it's weird, you know, when you're on the cover of Time Magazine, you as the transgender to be important is sort of a lot of people start looking to you for answers around um, issues that I might not have answers about, that I might not um, necessarily um, be fully adept in. And there's a tremendous amount of pressure to, um, to show up um, and to advocate for, for those people who are struggling. And I, I can't be there <laughs> um, for everything. And I can't, um, I'm, sort of, I'm circling with this now, how I balance like working being an actress first and, and doing this and, and taking care of myself. Um, I definitely think last year, I, it was an amazing year for me, but I definitely maybe said yes a few too many times and I was...